Hamas is still holding 242 hostages in Gaza, according to the IDF. Mothers and fathers, children, the elderly, including nine-year-old Ohad, his mother and his grandparents. They were all taken from his grandparents' kibbutz on October 7th. Ohad had a birthday while being held hostage. Two of their family members, along with others, families of those being held hostage, recently traveled to Washington, D.C. They are pleading for international action to make sure that their loved ones are not forgotten. Joining me now is Marav Raviv. This is her family. Thank you for being with us. You are in Israel, and I can't imagine what your day today is like, the not knowing the well-being of your family members. Let's talk with talk to you about um, those members who were taken hostage. Tell me more about them, starting with the youngest member of your family. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, I just came uh, back to Israel yesterday from uh, uh, two different delegations that was in uh, Canada and in, uh, in the States, in Miami and in... Uh, Washington, D.C. Um, on October 7th, my cousin Karen uh, came to visit uh, grandma and grandpa in Kibbutz near Oz, which is only one and a half miles from the Gaza border. Uh, it was a vacation, a long weekend. She took her son, her only son, their only grandson, Ohad, which just, uh, who just turned uh, nine on the 23rd of October. Uh, and they found themselves in that terrible uh, Saturday uh, in the morning. Uh, last thing we know that uh, Karen text her partner uh, at 9.30 in the morning that uh, she doesn't want to have to be scared and to see the, so they're not watching the news on TV. She gave him his uh, iPad. And the last thing that we heard is the Ruthie's, my aunt's sister, uh, called her at 9.58, and Ruthie was whispering that uh, Hama the terrorist arrived, entered the kibbutz, and they have to be uh, quiet. Next thing we know is that at 11 um, a.m., their uh, um, phones and Ohad's uh, smartwatch were geolocated in uh, Gaza. Uh, things here are terrible of knowing nothing regarding them. Uh, there are more than 30 kids from the age of uh, nine months. Actually, he turned 10 months already, a baby boy, till the age of uh, 16. 30 kids that are captured now in uh, the hands of the Hamas which we know what they've done on that Saturday. Uh, Hamas is exactly like ISIS. The, the, the things that they've done and the evidence from the witnesses that we hear is exactly like the Nazis in the Holocaust. And uh, we are not sure what they are doing now, the 2,242 people, as you said. Uh, my my uncle is not in a good health. He walks with a cane. He hardly sees. Uh, we don't know how they took them uh, there. Uh, in the kibbutz, he he goes with a you know with a uh, like a golf cart, and their golf cart is missing as well. So we assume that they took them with that golf cart. Um, Mirav, what is? I'm not sleeping the, for for more. Today is the 30. I think I, I stopped counting. It's it's the 30 something day. It's been a month already, and we want the world to know. That's why I went on that uh, delegation. The world to know that uh, it's it's uh, crimes against humanity. Uh, we don't know if the Red Cross was there. Actually, we know that it. They didn't come uh, to visit them yet. And we know nothing. Uh, no. the, 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 the eldest people, the person there is 85 years old. They need the medicine. Kids can be in that. Uh, it's, it's more than five. We are now in the, in the sixth week already. And it's horrible feeling, knowing nothing. Suddenly people disappear from their houses 
on Saturday morning with their pajamas. It's it's insane. I really don't have the words to 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 express and to what we feel. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.